Another day, another dose of disruption as Border Force staff announce strike action that will affect passport control at seven airports and ports on eight days of Christmas. The people we represent who are striking, their Christmas has already been ruined because 40,000 of them use food banks, 45,000 of them have to claim benefits, the average wage is £23,000 a year, and yet these people pay out benefits to the public, keep our justice system running, our ports and our airports, and so much more. The government has given them 2% when inflation is at 11%, and actually it's at 16% for the poorest people that we're representing. People are desperate. Around 1,000 Border Force staff will strike on eight key travel days in December, from December the 23rd to December the 26th, and from the 27th to the 31st at Glasgow, Manchester, Birmingham, Cardiff, Heathrow and Gatwick airports and the port of New Haven, leaving travellers' plans up in the air. 18th of December, Eurostar strike um, for the security staff for METI um, travelling to France. Um, next day I'm travelling back on the, by Ryanair on Stansted, back to, back to Stansted, potentially border force issues. Bart was planning to collect his mother-in-law from Paris to take her and family to the Caribbean. I commute regularly into London for work. But you're, I'm used to the recent industrial action, but it just seems that now it seems like this waterfall of industrial action, particularly over the Christmas period, to try and hold the travel companies at, ran at, at ransom. A Home Office spokesperson said, we're disappointed at the union's decision to strike on the proposed dates, which will cause an inconvenience to the public and businesses. We're working closely with all UK ports and airports and have robust plans in place to minimise any delays if strike action goes ahead. However, passengers should be prepared for disruption. The affected airports say they are waiting for the Home Office to tell them how it plans to mitigate the impact of strikes on immigration controls. But Heathrow is among those saying they expect to run services as normal, although there could be longer delays. Manchester, however, says passengers should expect some cancellations. The Border Force strike has been deliberately timed to overlap with industrial action by Highways Agency staff striking on 10 dates around the country between December the 16th and January the 7th and rail walkouts starting next week, all piling intense pressure on government to keep the country moving. Hard-working families right now in this country are facing challenges. The government has been reasonable. It's accepted the recommendations of an independent pay body, giving pay rises in many cases higher than the private sector. But if the union leaders to continue to be unreasonable, then it is my duty to take action to protect the lives and livelihoods of the British public. Time is running out for ministers and the rest of us to land a resolution in time for Christmas. Paul Kelso, Sky News at Heathrow. Well, let's get some more details on those strikes now and what we can expect. So Border Force officers will strike at the arrival checkpoints of six airports and one port across the UK at Heathrow, Gatwick and Glasgow airports. Uh, they're among the locations striking from the 23rd of December to the 26th, then again from the 28th of December until the 31st. NHS workers are scheduled to walk out across four days, ambulance staff on December the 21st and 28th. Nurses on the 15th and 20th of the month in England, Wales and Northern Ireland and rail strikes will take place as planned over four days next week. We can also expect new strikes announced on Monday that will start on Christmas Eve and run until early on the 27th with further strikes also planned in the new year, while postal workers are planning to strike over six days. And walkouts are also planned by some Scottish teachers. That's today and tomorrow. Driving test examiners, security staff at Eurostar and some civil servants will also go on strike this month. <laughs> 